Previously on Nancy Drew. On my lips right now is a curse that I will release the moment that I die. It will kill Ace if you ever act upon your feelings for each other. I shouldn't have come here. We are friends, and those feelings that you have for me, I do not share them, and I never will. Nancy Drew Investigations. I've got a case for you. Meet me at the cemetery at 10 p.m. Come alone. Where are the bodies? And then we realized that we're both standing on Main Street at the crack of dawn buying you breakfast. So I loaded his bike in my car. No, no, on your car. I left that mountain bike rack when I moved out. Healthy Thanks. breakfast. Thanks, Dads. Hmm. Are you going to be late for work? No, I'm a small business consultant now. You know, I go in at like a soft 10 a.m. You're not worried I could be late? No, you've clearly reorganized your entire schedule because Jean's out of town and her absence made you suddenly realize you're an empty nester. Oh. So? How's business at Horseshoe Bay's newest detective agency? Which case was keeping you up? The lost antique watch? Oh, the case of the missing safe. The embezzling spouse. No, try Chunky. Oh, whoa, not cool. Don't listen to her, bro. You look great. Hey. I was talking about Chunky the ferret. Once I find the Velez family's beloved MIA weasel, I can finally pay my overdue electric bill and make a dent in the property tax. This one's due tomorrow. I work best under time pressure. Which is maybe why I haven't solved the case of the missing bodies in the last five weeks. Made a dope murder board, though. Well, it's too bad that the mystery caller just ghosted you after they gave the phone tip. Yeah, left me with no witnesses to the grave robbing. The missing dead had no relationship to each other. Their lives never even overlapped. The only thing they have in common is that they all died before the age of 30, and they're buried in the same section of the graveyard. I don't even have a working theory other than ambitious vandals. Well, don't be too hard on yourself. The new police chief hasn't figured it out yet either. Uh, is there any help from the coroner's office? You know, because I know Ace works there, so maybe he could give you some yeah, tips. Yeah, we don't. what I say? what I say? You know what? We don't have to talk about Ace if the topic is upsetting. I'm not upset. I can talk about a platonic friend who I have to keep alive by never letting him know that I'm in love with him so that we don't act on our feelings for each other and activate a secret death curse. And to be fair, that is speculation. It's not speculation. I lived it. Temperance showed me a vision. On my lips right now is a curse that I will release the moment that I die. It will kill Ace if you ever act upon your feelings for each other. So I had to push Ace away. If he finds out about the curse, he's going to try and break it, and then he'll end up dead. So there we go. We talked about it. Hmm. Bess just texted me. She said, uh, tell Nancy she's late, exclamation point, and also find out if she muted my notifications, but don't tell her I was asking. I did not. I did not. I did not to mute her. I just forgot that we had to meet, so. Bye. Later. Ah, she totally muted you, dude. Hello, fellow horseshoe bagels. I'm Bess Marvin, coming to you live. As the new director and curator of the Historical Society, I've asked some fellow members of the hashtag HistSo community to share how excited they are for the annual Lover's Vigil being held here tomorrow night. Can I see? And action. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew of Nancy Drew Investigations, and I am just thrilled to be a sponsor of the Lover's Vigil. And Nancy, I saw that weasel you were looking for. You saw it? Yeah. Hey, you, you saw Tunky Bless? Sorry. Nancy! As a pre-law student, I love reviewing old case records from the Historical Society. Site of the Lover's Vigil, tomorrow night. Wait, that's tomorrow? I have to get started on catering. Action. 
As the coroner's assistant, I can't wait for the annual lover's vigil. Um, cut, cut. As a local business owner, I understand how important a place like the historical society is. After a devastating disaster like our recent tsunami, we need an opportunity to bond with each other. That's why I'll be at the lover's vigil tomorrow night. Will you be there? Wow. A star is born. I used to do post-game interviews when I played football. I guess I forgot how much I missed it. Thank you oh. both for helping Nancy Drew investigation sponsorship of the Lover's Vigil. You are very welcome. But what are the chances that next year's sponsorship comes in the form of money mm. and not our free labor? Oh, well, as long as Chunky Velez is in the wind. Well, great. That lead was a bust. He fled the scene. His name is Chunky. How fast can he be? <laughs> He's impressed. Thank you. Sure thing. Later, Nick. Thanks, Tristan. Hey, you're the town's most eligible heartthrob now. Why don't you sponsor the lover's vigil? No, I'm still getting used to being single again. Isn't the vigil all about reuniting the souls of long lost loves? <laughs> I'm done with lovers and their souls for the time being. Mm, well, speak for yourself. Addie's been out of town and I cannot wait to unite our souls all over the historical society. <sighs> oh, come on, what? The, the keeper's quarters are too cramped. Yeah, well, no need to rub it in. The rest of us are lonely enough. <sighs> I, uh, I almost forgot the cider. Have you spoken to Ace lately? I'm just giving him space. Feels like the least I can do after stomping on his heart. How is he? You could ask him yourself. But I am late. Uh, me and Nick have to pick up flowers. Do you mind holding the phone? Did you forget something? Bess told me to bring these. She said you'd be running errands. I have no errands whatsoever. Best parent trapped us. You don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. You can just set the box down and go. Or you could stay. See, I don't know what's right anymore. I've been trying to make peace with it all, but I was so mad at you. I know. So I respect what you want, I really do. But what hurts is that I lost a friend over stupid, like, it, not even a kiss. If there's anything that I can do for us to be friends again, I'd like that. There he is. Wait, is... We got him. Hey, Horseshoe Bay PD. You're under arrest for the theft of eight bodies? What? What's going Bay on Green. here? Okay, officer, I have no idea what you're talking about. Wait, what? Whoa. You have the right to remain silent. I didn't steal any bodies. I know. I believe you. Not anymore. That program's under review by the new chief. Hey, they just booked Ace. They wouldn't let me near him. Okay, well, Carson's on his way, and Nick is trying to reach Ace's parents. Yeah, turns out the Appalachian Trail is zero cell coverage. In the meantime, I just turned in my first assignment as Abbott's law clerk. So how about I throw a little habeas corpus around? Mm. Nancy, the chief will see you. Chief Lovett, I'm Nancy. Nancy Drew. Get over here. I am thrilled to have you in my office, Nancy Drew. God, I wish I had something right here for you to sign. Why? Come on, you're a local hero. You've been solving actual crimes since you were 12. God, at 12, I was still searching for everyone's missing pets. So, what can I do for you? You can release my friend days. Mm, sorry, I can't do that. No, not with what we found behind his parents' house, where Ace has been house-sitting alone for weeks. 
We've got a very strong case against him. You don't, because there is no chance Ace dug up graves and stole bodies. That's not who he is. Ace is responsible and law-abiding. His father was a police captain. Sure. Police captains have been known to father children. Ace is also employed by the town. At the coroner's office, where he's surrounded by dead bodies. So is the coroner, but you didn't arrest him. Do you actually have a shred of evidence against Ace? Oh, we've got the goods. Box is a little small for eight bodies, don't you think? This is great. I love it. We're just going to make each other better. Take my number, text me if you need anything. It's called habeas corpus to have the body. It means you literally have to have the eight bodies before you arrest Ace. I mean, that's not what habeas corpus means. <clears throat> oh my god, the ice cream sandwiches! I own it! ice cream sandwich! What are you. What are you doing? Delivery for the chief. Definitely no ice cream sandwiches. They clearly ID'd it as one of the missing bodies. Maybe because of this ring, it could be a family crest. Oh, this piece of sleeve, burial clothes. Right, so let's do the same. Nancy already has the names of the eight bodies from her investigating a few weeks ago. So let's just identify the body this arm belongs to and figure out how it wound up behind Ace's house. And then maybe that'll help us figure out why someone would have the motive to steal it. And seven more. We'll split up and move fast. I'll grab Nick. OK. All right, Us and I will do a deep dive on the identities of our late eight. It's my fault. This deep dive should have happened weeks ago. Instead, I let the case go cold. Hey, we are going to defrost it. OK? I got you. No leads from any of the other neighbors. What are you drinking? Oh, Mrs. Bernstein gave me some apple cider. She saw my video. Anyway, she also told me about what happened. Mr. Williams next door is the one who discovered the arm. He was walking his dog around 10 p.m. when he started barking like crazy and then ran off in Ace's yard. Let me guess, brought his owner back a skeletal arm treat. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Pretty big hole for just an arm, no? My dad says Ace should be able to post bail tomorrow. His arraignment will be in a few days. Hopefully that gives us enough time to prove he's innocent and they'll have no choice but to drop the charges. You hear that? It's 10 p.m. Exactly when Mr. Williams' dog started barking and ran off last night. Hey, look at all these. Dozens of complaints from the past couple nights about dogs barking in this neighborhood. In various spots, including this one. What time were the complaints made? Right after 10 p.m., every one. I'm thinking we follow those dogs. Tell me you're not blaming yourself for what happened to Ace. Well, of course I'm blaming myself. I found these bodies weeks ago and of taking on a bunch of small time cases to pay the bills. So Ace wouldn't be in jail right now. You sure that's all it is? What else would it be? Listen, Ace, Ace is a mess. I've had my heart broken before, but man, if I have to hear about how his barometer shattered one more time, then... What is that? That footprint? stole that body. It rose from the grave itself. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you so much for agreeing to sit down with the glasses. Hear them out. You know, this could be a worthwhile opportunity for you. Mm, yeah, and for you, it gets you out of the debt. Yeah, well, it's it's not a debt exactly. It's it's more like a hostage situation. Right. Well, yeah. Maybe next time you rent and then destroy a skinwalker hatchet belonging to some you know friendly suburban relic traders, maybe don't put your Porsche up as collateral. Hey, be fair. You know you miss those relic runs in my car just as much as I do. 
And besides, it's no secret that the town council is going to be voting to reduce the quarterly funding for the historical society. Yeah, I am doing everything I can to remind the town how important the society is. You know, without exposing its secrets, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. It's just, you know, it doesn't hurt to sit down with like-minded people, right? I mean, this, this, they, they could be your backup plan. Yeah, fine. And I will happily sit down with them after the vigil. Thank you very much. Wait, I... Uh... Huh. Or, uh, right now could work, too. <laughs> Here she is. Bess, meet Shelby and Jonas. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> As Keeper, you receive newly discovered relics for safe storage. What if I told you that many of those relics and haunted objects could fetch a premium on the black market? I would say that was true, yes. And since the items bound for your archive room are technically off the books, why not let us utilize our expertise as relic connoisseurs by monetizing them for you? See, this, this right here, this sounds like a cool idea. Uh, right. Totally. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to take this. Um, okay. Wait. Hi. 4 p.m. at the docks. I will get a ride and I'll meet you there. Okay. So what do you think? Can we help each other? Um, Mr. and Mrs. Glass, I admire your entrepreneurial zest. <laughs> But I must decline your offer. Sorry. <clears throat> if I could, okay. Um, listen, hold on, please, 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 please. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry that, that that didn't work. Obviously, but you saw. I tried my best. All right. Deal's a deal. You can have your car back. Really? Thank you. Those your paying cases? These are cases I can wait. Good news. Ace definitely didn't steal any bodies. Bad news. Looking like the bodies stole themselves. Nick and I only witnessed one walking corpse, but I have to imagine the other seven are out there as well. As to why and how eight corpses reanimated, burst from their graves, and have been creeping around town for the last five weeks. Could be a ritual gone awry, could be a mystical timer that went off. Totally, it could be either. But reanimated bodies are found in plenty of cultures worldwide. You have the Upyuk Ukraine, you have the Sokrion of the Caribbean. Is there a common method for how to deal with them? Aside from run away very quickly? Depends on how they died. Once we know that, we can figure out what caused them to reanimate, and then from there, get them back to rest. That is tomorrow's mission. Today's mission, find the bodies. Get some proof to Chief Lovett about their current behavior. And how exactly are we going to achieve that? I am working on it. I have a theory based on what I saw in the marsh and hole in Ace's backyard. I think the bodies bury themselves during the daytime. And at night, they rise. Just have to figure out what they're doing. OK. While you puzzle that out, I did get an ID on the body that is now one armed. The ring belonged to a woman named India Burnett. India. I remember that name. Most recently deceased of all the dead bodies. She died in 1998 at the age of 27. Cause of death inconclusive, <laughs> profoundly unhelpful. But I did find this. Took a lot of stalking around the hilltop or part of town, but I got the story. India's parents were really wealthy, but she was deeply troubled. She suffered from long depressive episodes, so she took to living alone on her yacht. That's where they found her body in 1998. This is the name of the boat behind her in lost time. I recognize that boat from my Marvin days. Yeah, it's docked in the private Hilltoppers Harbor. They say that no one's been inside it since the day India died. Well, it's about to get a visitor. OK, I got to get back to the claw. First, I probably need help with Ace's case. Uh, have you spoken to Ace? How's he doing? Ace was suspended from his job at the morgue until this is over. I'm going to find the proof we need to free him.
fish guy. You're the town detective. Hi, Tristan. Nice to meet you. Hi, me. Um, get in the uh, lobster hold. Ah, uh, lobsters are my favorite. But you work at the claw. Exactly. They know what I've done to their friends. Now or never. Hey, Kenny. Uh, hello. See anyone running past you just now? Step back, searching your boat. Yeah, I don't think so. Not without a warrant. You want to go get one? I'll wait. I'll have your boat impounded for illegal docking. Be sure to tell the Gloversons why their daily catch is coming to them late and spoiled, though. You know what? I tell them myself. Kenny. Did great. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I hope that doesn't mean I risk your boat or your livelihood. I hope this means that we can keep running into each other. Um. You just... Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye. Some kind of code or a rune. Ah! 50,000 views and counting. Oh my god, Nick is a media darling. Is it me or all these women of Horse Bay just thirsty as hell? Do I sense a hint of regret? No, it's just Nick and I have barely even broken up. We haven't even had time to talk about things we haven't even talked about. What am I gonna say to him at the lover's vigil tonight? <sighs> Got some stuff here. He's sketching an old outline of Horseshoe Bay? Because that's, that's not bad. Sorry, what? Well, here. Check it out. This is old Horseshoe Bay before 99 when they incorporated the Eastern Marsh. It looks just like it. I only remember because I used to take Lucy out there to stare at the stars. That's close to where I found India's body last night. OK, hold up. What does an old map of Horseshoe Bay have to do with whatever India's reanimated body is up to now? I love how casually you just said that. What if India's body's following a pattern? And the other bodies, too. Bess, can you track all the Stoop Snoop complaints about barking dogs since the night the bodies went missing? Mm -hmm. Every neighborhood in Horseshoe Bay look for patterns. Yep. If the dogs bark when the bodies emerge, maybe we can locate the others and predict where they're going tonight. And we can be there when they move again. I will send you what I find from the road. Ryan is driving me to pick up a shipment from the docks um, from a deceased medium's estate. And we'll make it speedy, because I got the old wheels back. Hey, look, I know that turning down the glasses means you didn't solve your issue with the town council, but, uh, you know, if I can help at all, I'm here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just have to figure out another way. Ryan. What? I don't know if the brakes are going out. Ryan, have to find the brakes. Ryan. Hello, this is uh, Bess Marvin. I'm going to be late to pick up a shipment. Is that a talisman? I'm sorry, my assistant picked it up just now. No, I don't have any assistant. Oh my god, I'll leave it. The glasses did this. Oh my god. You know what? When we get back into town, I am getting my shipment back and they're having a piece of my mind. No, no, stay yeah. out of this, okay? Because I, I underestimated how dangerous they are. I mean, we could have died. You let me handle this, okay? Hey. Everything okay? Yeah, my dad said Ace got out on bail. Okay. I doubt he'll come to the vigil, but he's sleeping at home tonight. Hey. Hey. You're mm -hmm. late. I was worried about you. Yeah, you. You won't believe what happened. We just had this. A flat before. tire is what we had, yeah. Can you believe it? We had a flat tire, but nothing to worry about, right? I'll catch you guys later. Hey. 
How are we doing with the barking dog complaints? Yes, done. Five weeks of dog barking posts, blogged, and mapped. Anything that points to the bodies? There is, I don't see it yet. Hello? Oh, yes. I wasn't gonna let you spend the vigil alone. Now, um, <clears throat> I read the rules, and it's a punishable offense if we don't dance. Oh, oh I am so glad you found me. <laughs> My... No, go, dance. <laughs> the rules are the rules. George, you okay? Great. All my failings come crashing together at once. I just spent 10 hours writing this legal memo for Judge Abbott, and he says none of it's usable. I don't even know what shepherdizing means, but apparently I'm awful at it. I'm sorry. I don't, don't know if it helps, coming from one of your alleged failings. You're not. I, I really shouldn't have said that. I've actually been meaning to talk to you. Just not like this. Oh, well, that's too bad, because I'm already here, and I'm listening. Why did you sell the engagement ring? Yeah, I saw it in the pawn shop window last month. I needed the money to pay a contractor to seal up the veil to protect the town. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Yeah, and, and you didn't. Really? I... I was just surprised. Because it felt final. I guess a part of me had still hoped that maybe you had held on to the ring. It's on the off chance that one day we... <laughs> it's stupid. I... Neither of us have changed our minds. We can't live our lives waiting for something that may or may not happen that... Yeah. It's not really living. I mean, you... You should download one of those apps. And say yes. Say yes to what? All the women who are going to message you. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that into consideration. Strange party. Feels like laws are being broken. I just don't know which ones. Is this arts and crafts? No, it is the centerpiece of the lover's vigil. Didn't mean to offend. Tell me. Local legend says on this night every year, lovers' souls separated in death can find each other. So people write the name of their beloved, seal it in a bottle, and send it out to sea so their souls can reunite, if they so desire, on this side or the other. And there's general buy-in on this? You seem to have an issue with what people in this town believe. In my experience, when people start believing ghost stories, problems lie ahead. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. Same. I'm running out of bottles. Can you uh, cover my table for a minute? I'll be right back. Can you just... Whoa. You're here. After 24 hours in jail, I didn't... 
feel like sitting at home alone. They can't be here. Dangerous artifacts. Yeah. And the... Hey, everybody out! Party's over. Come on. Oh. Let's go. Do that somewhere else. I should go too. I'm really sorry for this. For everything. I'm sorry, I made it weird weeks ago in my loft and... You didn't. I did. It was my fault. Wish I knew what you meant. I wish I could tell. Ooh, you're bleeding. Uh... The bottle must have just cracked when I tripped, so I'm gonna uh, just clean it up. Did I ever tell you I tanked my first law school final? No. I was working two jobs to put myself through it. Yeah. Bakery in the morning, parking garage at night. Want to know how I did it? Time machine? <laughs> no. Just an award-winning time management system. Taught to me by a pastry chef every day at 4 a.m. And what award did that win? Pastries. Yay. <laughs> A judge would not spend this much time marking up an assignment unless he saw real potential in you and wanted you to do better. I find that really questionable. I mean, who would want to work with a scatterbrain lawyer like me? I think you trained your brain to survive by juggling a million things at once. But right now, maybe that superpower is killing this superpower. I can work with you to gather all the pieces, to focus. Will you accept my help? Are there pastries involved? First map of Horseshoe Bay. What's all this? It's old maps of Horseshoe Bay. 1999, 1975, 1951, and so on. Each corresponds with the time period from when one of the missing bodies was alive. These bodies are walking the town limits as they knew them during their lifetime. And they all meet here, Geiger Clearing. Best said, according to the locations of the latest dog barking clusters, that's where the bodies will be tonight. It's a site where the town was founded. George will keep the vigil running. The rest of us need to go now. So if each of the bodies is walking the outline of the town from when they were alive and converging on this one consistent point, Geiger Clearing, does that mean they remember? I don't think so. Based on Bess's research, reanimated corpses aren't conscious. They're more like rogue nuclear submarines, programmed mindless on a warpath. On a warpath to do what? I don't know. And tonight, I don't care. We're here to exonerate Ace. This should be the place.
is going on here? Glad you could join us. Appreciate you taking my text seriously. Yeah, is this enough proof for you that he's no, still those bodies? How are you doing this? We're not. Unexpected. How do you feel about dropping those charges? <clears throat> so no word on uh, Chunky the Ferret? None. But I did manage to request an extension on my electricity bill, so. Yay, it's great. Why the long face? I thought exonerating Ace would fix things. But it didn't. Because I've been lying to him for weeks, pretending I don't love him. You know, only to protect him, though. <laughs> yeah, and it still caused so much suffering. It's like my compass is off. My sense of of true north, and and I've, I'm supposed to be an adult now, so why do I feel so lost? An adult? <laughs> well, then welcome to the club of lost adults, you know, because we're all just trying to wing it. Yeah, and that's not good enough. I want to make decisions that I can be proud of. I want to be someone that I can be proud of. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, have you confronted the glasses yet? Because I really need those relics back. Confronted the glasses about what? Nothing, absolutely nothing. We just, it's nothing. We just didn't give them what they wanted, so they melted my engine with some weird talisman. You said it was a flat tire. Yeah. Well, we crashed into a tree. Whoa. But Ryan is sorting in. Isn't he? You could have been hurt or worse. Look, I'm taking care of it. The glasses are way more dangerous than I thought, and I don't need you or, or you or anyone getting involved, okay? So as your father, promise me that you're gonna stay away. Nancy, is someone chasing you again? Good news on Lobster Free. You live here. This is your house. Yeah. Well, technically, it's my parents' house. Sometimes I sleep on the boat. Your parents are Jonas and Shelby Glass. Did you want to speak to them? Electricity bill extension tonight. That's not Chunky Velez. Step away from the door. I am only accepting visits from ferrets tonight. You were lying. What? You do have feelings for me. 
This could have been written by anybody. How many order tickets have you written me at the claw? I know your handwriting. That bottle shattered at the vigil, just like the barometer shattered in my apartment. Both times, I felt something, and I know you felt it too. And both times, we were close enough to... Mm. Ace, we can't. Tell me why not. Because we're cursed. 